All right, guys, so we're gonna be checking these live traps for the rabbits that I've been seeing hanging around my yard. You can see their tracks all over the place because rabbits stay active in the winter. They don't hibernate. They're always moving, looking for food. So whatever was in this one, it ate all the food and it didn't trigger the trap. So <sighs> that's okay because we got one more. Oh my God, I think we got it. We got this one. Oh, he is a little, he's going a little bit crazy here. The big old rabbit. So there you go, we caught the rabbit. Now let me show you how I bait these traps. All right, so now we're back in the house and what we're using for bait that um, these rabbits love, I have a crab apple tree in my backyard and they just love the apples. So we're just gonna cut up some apples and throw them in the traps. I try and make them in uh, quarters so that you know, they're big enough not to fall out of the actual trap itself. So. And I'll probably put four to five pieces in a trap. So having more apples in the trap puts out a, a greater smell. You probably cut up one more. Even this out. And so now basically we just throw these in the trap and uh, we wait. We wait until we get a wabbit. All right, so now that we got the bruh. All right, so now that we got the rabbit out of the trap, <clears throat> these turkeys, man. Now that we got the rabbit out of the trap, we got these apples and uh, we're gonna refill the trap and uh, make sure that there's bait in there. All right, so back where we had it, we wanna throw it back there. Make sure it's back there and not too close to the um to the trigger because then if it's too close to the trigger then the rabbit can get close to it and just take it out and eat it all right so these rabbits love these these low to the ground bushes because it it gives them security gives them protection from hawks other animals it's their little area to bunker down and protect themselves so rabbits love these little shadowy uh, bushes so this is where we're gonna be placing these traps and so next what I'm doing here is that I got a whole bunch of these sticks what I realized is that when I checked this trap there was no bait in the trap. It's for larger animals like raccoons, maybe like a woodchuck or something like that. You know, something a little bit larger than a rabbit. So what I'm going to do is put these sticks on that trigger. Now it's not heavy enough to trigger the trap, but what it's gonna do is cause the animal to step on that surface, give it a little bit more of a push when the animal steps on it and trigger the trap. So let's try this and see what happens. Just like that. All the bait on this side, sticks and twigs on top of the trigger, and then entrance. Now it's tucked in there, so absolutely nothing out here can start picking away at it. We'll mainly be targeting the rabbits, so hopefully that does the job and we can get some results. 
So thank you guys for watching. We got some new things coming up this summer and probably maybe even before that and then maybe even after that. We got a couple new things that are going on with this channel that's going to be adding more content and more cool interesting things that you guys might enjoy. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like this video and hit that notification bell because you guys do not want to miss what's going to be coming up this year. Brand new things. Can't wait for you guys to see. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, we'll see you there.